Okay, y'all, let's do a little realities of chicken keeping video real quick. So you may see those adorable baby chicks at Tractor Supply or your local feed store, and you're like, you know, how hard can chickens be? They can be pretty dang hard, number one. Um, like, I should be working. It is 1.15. I have some content I need to go film. But you know what I'm doing? I walked out here, and my girl Red, right here, my big chicken, she was a rescue chicken that I found wandering in a neighborhood like four years ago now. Well, she was laying in the coop struggling to breathe. And about a year ago, I treated her for water belly, which is AKA ascites is I think how you say it. It's a symptom of heart failure and basically they get fluid in their body, in their abdominal cavity, and then they can't breathe. So because her belly had swollen full of fluid, she couldn't breathe. So I just got me a needle. This is an 18 gauge needle. Oh, I just got it on me. And I stuck it into the lower, if you're looking at the butt of the chicken, it's the lower to the right of the vent. I want to tell you that correctly. And I am just sitting here letting the fluid drain out of her butt. So hopefully she can breathe. There is no cure for this. I mean, sometimes you can drain them and she's lived almost a whole nother year before I've had to drain her again. Sometimes it could be literally the next day. But yeah, so what I'm doing right now is sitting here letting abdominal fluid drain out of my chicken's butt and hopefully she gets to live a little bit longer, Red. She's already breathing better because we've relieved some of that pressure off of the inside of her body. So here's a little reality chicken keeping for you. Dealing with water belly and getting chicken abdominal fluid on you. Red is already looking perkier. Her comb has got some color back into it and she's already looking for ways to jump off onto the ground. So I'm probably just gonna put her back in the coop because she looks like she's feeling a lot better already, just relieving some of that pressure so she can breathe. But yeah, Red, I can't believe you're still hanging in here with us, but this chicken, she's my longest owned chicken that I have here. She came from my parents' house because I rescued her and she lived there for a couple of years and then she joined my flock. But yeah, just over here, poking chicken booties. And you can see all the fluid that's drained out. It's all over the ground. And I'm just going to let it continue to drain out. You can use a syringe to suck it out. Oh, okay. Bye, Red. But you can use a syringe to suck it out through one of these like little IV things. I just stuck it in her and let it start draining. Pulled it out and it's just been dripping. So yeah, fun parts of chicken keeping, y'all. You get to drain chicken bellies if you experience water belly.